Chicks, every night at 7 on you. That's right, it's time for the Lou Review, your favourite, my least favourite. It's the best theme in the world of any show that there's ever been, except Golden Girls, because that's a classic. But mine's number two. Okay, it's a very interesting ranking system you've got there. Uh, welcome along, Tim Bat. Nice to see you again, Guy Nice Montgomery. to see you wearing... Excellent to see you, Timothy Lambert. Tim, absolute pleasure. Clothes. How do you do? Full clothes. Little, little worried that it looks a lot like what they put criminals in when they Check appear in the out. dock. Quite loud. It's quite too. loud. Yeah, I apologise. You didn't get it from court, did you? Look at that. This is this. See, it's stylish and functional. You haven't been to court. It's functional. You haven't been to court. Um, Just confirmed. This. Yeah, you haven't Not been to court. court. You've been in Wellington. Yeah, man. Is this what brought on the outfit? The the, the old bloody no, windy Wellington. Uh, yeah, well, it's like there's wet weather everywhere. So I traded what I was wearing before for this. Life is just like a buy, sell and exchange for you, isn't it? It's it is when you hang out with the people I do. It's a fun time and you meet interesting people. I had a taxi ride from a gentleman today who um, was a security guard in Sydney and told me that he has killed people for money. Wow. That's no lie. So, um, Wellington was fantastic. Did he give you yeah. that? Did he get that from court? My parents on a particular show, which I think contractually I'm not allowed to mention on this yeah. show, but I would like to say those people who started that hashtag that time, you know who you are, we won, baby. You and me. We made it. So thanks. Great. Hey, who wants a review? Everyone. Everyone in New Zealand wants a review. Uh, so, before, as you before know, we go into that, how, yeah. did you, how did you enjoy your time in Wellington? Have you been down there before? It was fine. Just fine? What? what? What's wrong? What happened? What's wrong? It was You're all good. Positive guy. Well, usually you'd say yeah. something like, oh, it was really great. I met this interesting guy and he gave me a pimp cane or something cool, but it was just. It seemed flat. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I wanted to take this review where the Lou Review has never been before. Wellington. Thousands of feet into the air. Oh, oh mile high review. So I had a lot of options on what I was going to do my review on over the weekend because I was in the capital city and I tried a couple of times to break into the Beehive because I thought it would be kind of cool to see what they've got going on. Yeah. Um, that didn't end too well. Didn't end too well at all. But then I thought um, on my way back home to here, wherever this is, PVNZ, this is I thought, home. do you know what? I'll do it right here in the plane because this is like one of the most special toilets of all time. The plane toilet. Do you know what I found out? The evolution of the plane toilet, fascinating. Much more interesting than you'd think. Mm. Did you know up until 1979 they just used to freeze it with this stuff called Anatec and know? it often used to leak, congeal on the outside of the plane and just fall on houses. I oh. did know that. And you know Joe Dirt? Joe Dirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's in that movie and it's also true. Between 1979 and 2003 there were 27 reported cases in the US alone and that's just the ones that airports, uh, the airliners the, admit to. What's the story with insurance on that? Are, they, are the people insured if you get hit by a ball of shit falling out of the sky? Yes, it depends on your coverage. Not here to review insurance, here to review the crapper. So, let's roll tape. Let's do and it. by that I mean, do we have the photos? Ah, uh, yeah, we've got the photos, mate. Why don't I just um, get this I'm just getting it ready. Hey, yeah. while we're readying that, can I say, if you haven't yet, do yourself a favour and join the newly minted Facebook page, I'll Tim bring up, Lou Review. I'll bring that up soon. So here we go. Keep going forward. That one's slightly out of focus. Not a fan. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. I've never seen such professionalism from you. So, um, a lot going on, as you can see. Yeah. A lovely wee sign reminding you that you're not allowed to smoke there. And because uh, people are still smoking on aeroplanes. Yeah, people are old school, man. Sometimes they forget that you're not allowed to do stuff like that. But just let's let's just take it all in. Let's see a few more of these photos. photos. I okay, just cool. want to get accustomed to this. Hall door open. I mean, it's quite. Um, that? Technically, is that art, Tim? Does that's that come? Yeah, out? that's art. So as always, um, we've got a set uh, of criteria that we yep. assess the toilets on, and that never changes. That's always aroma, reading, commitment to New Zealand made, innovative flush design. Yep. Wi-Fi. So yep. all new new categories this week. Except That's for five, isn't it? Yeah, it's five. So let's go through it, shall we? Let's dip back into so, the photos. Aroma. Aroma. Three out of five, as we can see there. The plane is an interesting mix of high altitude mountain air 
and disinfectant and a little bit of poos, <laughs> which all comes together to form something that's far greater than the sum of its parts. That's the wording I was going for. I haven't slept in a few days. Yeah, you feel, so, it feels like you have. Don't. But I appreciate your help. We're getting through it, eh? This is trying good. to. This is a good one. We should put this one in the awards entry. Just keep you. Next category. Yeah. After Aroma, reading material. Yeah, now I've got a picture here. Now, um, in New Zealand, who I very proudly flew, slash, their security ain't that good, and guess what? You can sneak on the domestic flights pretty easily. Oh, aviation security is They've a got a free magazine called Kia ora, and this is Kia ora magazine, and it's the perfect thing for a mid-flight dump. It's just the right size. There's a lot of articles that are interesting, but you don't have to dedicate too much time to them. So whenever you want to pinch off and leave, so your magazine is done as well. I've got to jump in here. This might make me sound like a, a, a wanker, but I look at the Kyoto magazine, I think, oh, I, I probably don't really want to read this. Like, it's going to be light, and oh, hell, what's... And you're in. You and are then you in. finish them. I didn't realise it was because of that. The length I, is just right. I read a, an interesting article about the roller derby, which I took a photo of. I don't know if you got that photo. Um, Mate, I got the photo. And right. do you there take... Do you... Uh, do they have one just in the bathroom for general use, or are you taking your own I personal put them issue? There. Oh. I put them there whenever I fly. But as you know, I've got a fear of flying, so it's not often. I didn't know that. Yeah, that and cats. They're my only two fears. Those cats. are your only two fears? Yeah. You're an interesting guy, Tim Bat. What was the next category that I wrote? <laughs> oh, the next category, uh, Tim Bat, was... Sleep deprived. Commitment to New Zealand, mate, of course it is. This doesn't change. I don't know why I would forget that. It's the same every week. So, commitment to New Zealand made. I looked around the bathroom, a Boeing 737-300, clearly not constructed in New Zealand. No. But look at this. Made Hand New wash, Zealand. made in New Zealand. They didn't have, organics. Yeah. They didn't have mate. to do that. They We're didn't. More expensive, but great. More expensive. They're under no obligation for that. That's cutting into the profits. What about the actual toilet, the sink? Do we know where these things were made? Europe. Ah, I see. So we're only awarding but points. But Italy, not Germany. Germany's where you want your toilets to come from. Italy is generally where your toilets come from if it's European. If it's Asian, which is, that's kind of, they're very good, but they're not quite as good as the European ones, predominantly from South Korea. Yeah. Or if they're really good, Japan. Wow. So of all those... You want a German toilet, is what I'm saying. Okay, you. Thank want you. German I don't know that, so now I do. That's really good. Uh, the next category. Yeah, I'll bring that up for you right now. Um, innovative flush design. Now... Here's the thing about planes. They can't use a conventional flush system, which uses water to carry the waste away, yeah. using what I have termed de facto flush, flush, because I never did physics, so I don't know what the actual term okay. is, right? So they have to generate their own pressure on the plane, and they just suck it into a 750 litre tank, and they just hold the poo in there. Do you know that? How did you, did you ask a flight attendant for this information? I asked the pilot. Did you really? They let me in the cockpit. What? They, I thought they, they stopped doing that after 9-11. Yeah, I know, but I, if you ask nicely... This is after you'd like. already snuck onto the flight and you had the gall to... Yeah, it's I know, really impressive. Well, thank you. Wow. Thanks, man. Do you know whose seat you were sitting in? Obviously, someone who like, would like to show up. Unfilled. No, it was unfilled. The oh, so no is, one loses. You, no, here's, here's the secret mm, for viewers us. at home. Tim's top toilet tip of the day. If you're going to hide on a flight as a stowaway, sit in the aisle next to the door that you've got to push off. What's that called again? The safety door? <laughs> Emergency <laughs> exit. Because then the flight attendant immediately comes up to you and instructs you on the protocol, and then you're in. Everyone just thinks you're, you're totally meant to be there. You blend straight into the background. You are a kleptomaniac chameleon on a flight, and that's Tim's top tip of the day. Please join the Facebook group, Tim Batsler Review. Thank you, good night. Yeah, and, well, not yet, mate. You've still got one little segment to get through Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi receives zero out of five, I think, for slightly obvious reasons. <laughs> but check out my ensemble tonight. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Tim. Uh, I got five out of five for fashion. Am I wrong? No, we're not rating a fashion. The total, the in New Zealand toilet got 13 out of 20. So they will go up against Jetstar soon, which is exciting. I can't believe, I'm actually doing I a rip mix it up and do the plane versus an airport, so we sure. might chuck an airport in the mix nice. next right. week. Can't, these can't are, fun, can't these are exciting times on the Lure View. Tim, uh, thank you so much for coming in and your really weird mindset, mate. But I'm going to get some sleep. Yeah, just get out of here. Yeah, man, uh, anyway, sure we're going to go to a quick break. Stick around afterwards. We've got the sixth and final episode of the first season of Flat 3, including one of its stars, the lovely Perlina, right after this.